Santa. What happened? I just got stung by a bee. I wish they'd all just die. Oh man, I'm so sorry. Look, this is probably not the best time to say this, but I actually don't think you really want to live in a world without bees. What? Why? Because they all make honey? Whose side are you on? Well, they do make honey, but it's actually way more important than that. Really? How so? Did you know that one out of every three bites that you take comes from food pollinated by bees? In total, bees pollinate 70 of the top 100 crops that we eat. In fact, bees are so important that Albert Einstein once said that if the bee disappears from the surface of the earth, man would have no more than four years left to live. So humans would actually die if bees go extinct? Yeah, and you know what the craziest thing is? What? Bees are actually dying. Typically, bee colonies lose between 5 and 10% of their population over the winter. And that's natural. But between 2020 and 2021, the United States lost 45% of its bee colonies. What is going on? A number of factors are contributing, including air quality, habitat loss, and drought. But the biggest contributing factor is actually a pesticide that's similar to nicotine. Scientists developed these in the 1990s, and about a decade later, they started noticing huge loss in bee populations. When bees come into contact with these chemicals, they can become addicted, like humans on nicotine, and they eventually get really sick. And when bees become sick, they become too weak to defend themselves against parasites like vampire mites that survive by sucking the blood out of honeybees. Wow, that's crazy. So what can we do? Three things. First, you can tell your local officials to ban pesticides that kill bees. Second, you can support organic farms that work without pesticides. Third, you can grow flowering plants that bees rely on to get pollen. And most importantly, share this video. The Drumkin Show, The Drumkin Show. You better get ready for the drink. <laughs>